You can generate full face CS YouTube videos with a script, voiceover, and footage all by asking this tool as simple text prompts. And I know you've seen many videos about this, but no one really talks about how exactly to prompt with this tool to get the perfect video outcome consistently for our faceless YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you not only how exactly to prompt with this tool, but I'll be showing you the only prompt formula you'll ever need on NVIDIA AI to generate you high quality videos every time based on the newest update. So first thing source, you would need to come on over to NVIDIA AI. You could find a link for it in the description below. And then once on NVIDIA AI, in order to use the features that I am going to show you in this video, you need to get access to its beta features. So in order to do this, what you want to do when on the homepage like this, you want to come over to the icon here, which would show your, your name. And then you simply want to click onto it. And then what you want to do from here is click where it says your profile. And then once on your profile, you want to click where it says workspace settings. And in this section, over here you should see this tool which is titled beta features what you want to do and show you have this toggled on then once you have it toggled on you can go ahead to come back on over to the home page and then once on the home page where it says model you want to click onto this and ensure that you are in nvidia's 2.0 which would be the newer model with all the features i'll show you in this video so ensure you have this selected and once you've done that you're ready to begin so first things first you need to understand the basics of how exactly you can go about generating videos using this this tool and just so you know for the sake of this video i will only be generating clips of about 30 seconds when you're doing this you can generate videos as short or as long as you would like the sky is the absolute limit but i am limiting it for the sake of this video well so when it comes to the basic understanding all you would simply do to have it generate a video is ask it a simple prompt and this is how most people go about using this tool for example you could ask it something like this generate me a length and then you go ahead to insert the length so i'll say 30 second video type and then you go ahead to say the type of video you'd want so i could say listicle video which are these top 10 videos about and then you say the topic so i'll say best puppies for elderly and then after you've done this you can go ahead to hit generate a video and then it's going to further ask you to define the look and feel of your video from here you simply hit continue and then it's going to go ahead to generate the video for you now that it's done let's take a quick look at what it looks like this is why you need a furry friend the right puppy can bring joy companionship and a wagging tail into your everyday life. Let's explore the best puppies for elderly companionship. First, the loving Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, known for its gentle and affectionate nature. As you can see, it's a simple video generated from a simple prompt. You get a good script with accurate clips, good voice over good background music utilizing this tool is simple but utilizing it this way is not utilizing it to its full capabilities because you see the more advanced your prompt is the better your video outcome will be the more advanced your video will be but hold on now before you begin to feel intimidated or overwhelmed that you can't come up with a good prompt you don't need to worry because that's why i'm here that's why i've done it for you in video has of course gone through the newest update a few weeks ago and i've taken that time to do my usual testing and experimenting to find what I call the most perfect updated prompt. Coming back on over to this section of NVIDIA AI, the prompt template you'll want to be using is this. I will go ahead to leave the link in the pinned comments below so you can access it for yourself. But how exactly do you go about utilizing this prompt? Well, it's simply fill in the blanks. Let me show you how. So it says create a length and then you insert the length again for the sake of this video. I'm only going for 30 seconds, but you could use however long you prefer. And then language. You now want to insert the language you want your video to be created in. So I'll go ahead to say English. And I know what you're thinking, language? Yeah, I said language. Now NVIDIA has over 55 different languages, as you could see here, that you could utilize in your video. And then here it says style, you could insert the style of video it wants. And then it says create the video about. And then here you want to insert the video topic. I'll go ahead to create my video about Paris. And then it says include. And then here you want to set extra information to include. It could be about the video flow, outline, important points, etc. Anything you think you'd want to include into your video you'd want to put this in this section here and continue it says use this article to get more information and article link if you have a particular article that you want to get information from you can copy the link of it and paste it here but for this sake we have no article so i'll go ahead to take this out and then continue it says write it in tone and then you want to insert the type of tone you'd want your video to be written in and as you could see i've given you some options you could utilize just in case you can't think of something of your own and then continuing the video should be created too and then you want to insert the intended results that you want your audience to get from your video.
video continuing including and then here you want to insert extra information about the video structure whether you wanted to include humor analogies anecdotes or even irony continuing have a cta meaning call to action at the end of the video and then you'd write in what the cta you'd want make media pacing b and then you'll select how fast or how slow you'd want your media pacing to be i always recommend to use very fast as it makes your videos more engaging and then add and in this section here you want to insert the subtitle description this is another one of the great new features and it has some pretty cool subtitle options ranging from bold with popping effects classic harmozy style comica all caps with spoken word highlights subtitles with the yellow comic box style so you can go ahead to write any of these i've given you the best examples that i most commonly use but the one i like to use is bold with outline so i'm going to go ahead to keep it with that one then it says subtitles in color if you want a specific color in mind you could write it in there but for me i'm just going to go ahead to leave it then it says add music type of genre if you know the type of music you want or genre you could add it in there i don't like to overthink this too much so i'll just go ahead to say travel music that fades in at the beginning of the video and fades out at the end of the video and then it says use voice over name of voice now here if you've already added in your own voice into in video you can go ahead to write it in so in my case i'd go ahead to write in my name which is monique but if you haven't added in a voice yet and you don't want to use this then there's many ai voices you can choose from so i'll go ahead to just delete this part and then fill in the rest so it says use age so i'll go ahead to say young gender female accents here you want to go ahead to put in a type of accent you want and they've also added in way more accents and dialects that you could utilize for your videos such as midwestern accents transatlantic voices mexican spanish voice canadian french voice and a few more great options you could choose from but i'll simply go ahead to say american accents and now another one of their new features it says add transition type crossfade swipe dissolve i've given you a bit of options though there are many more transitions to choose from based upon my experimenting these three are the ones that seem to work best my preference is to typically use the dissolve one because for me it always comes out the best then it says to the number of media so you could say how much of the media you'd want the transitions to be added to so i'll go ahead to say all media then it says have music volume b and then the volume percent i like to always keep the background music at 50 percent and voice over volume b and then you could insert the percent i like the voice over volume to always be a 100 percent because you need to hear it clearly and once that's done that's it that's all you need to do to fill in the prompt from here what you want to do is click where it says generate a video and then you could further define how you want your video to be created. You could further define the audience, the look and feel of your video, or the platform. So you'd go ahead to select what you'd want. And once you've done that, all you need to do is click continue. And from here, NVIDIA will go ahead to generate your highly personalized, highly engaging video for you. Now that it's done, let's take a look at what it looks like. I bet you didn't know Paris could be your playground even on a tight budget. Picture this. You, enjoying a cup of coffee at a charming bistro, without worrying about splitting the bill because you're on your own. This was a way more engaging outcome. Not saying that the first one was bad, but when you utilize my template, it allows you to be creative and put your own ideas and thoughts into your own video, which makes it perfect so that you can create faceless videos for any channel in absolutely any single niche. But speaking of templates, let's just say you don't want to make simple prompts. You think my prompt is a bit too complicated and you want something that's more simple to utilize or to understand. Well, you're in luck because NVIDIA themselves have their own templates that you could utilize to create your videos. And they're even easier than mine. And though they may be less advanced as my templates, they're just as helpful and super beginner friendly. So in order to find these templates, you want to come to the bottom of the screen here where it says workflows and plugins. And as you could see, there are already three types of templates you could utilize. Now, if you click where it says explore all, as you could see, there are a bit more templates you could utilize to create your videos. So for example, let's just say you did want to create a youtube explainer then all you'd have to do is simply click onto it and then it's going to open up this box where you can fill in the blanks just as how you would fill it in with my prompts but specific to this type of video you'd want to create and in order to fill in the blanks for example with this line it says create a and then you click the drop down arrow and then you could select how long you'd want your video to be so if, for example 30 second youtube video about and then over here in the text box it asks you for the information it needs so it says give me an engaging topic 
and things we should talk about and not talk about. So you can go ahead to type that in just as we did before. And then it says add relevant facts and opinions about the video. You can go ahead to do the same thing. Make background music, select your background music, select from all the different languages. Then it gives you again with subtle urban humor. So you can go maybe type that in, typing something similar. And then next you can go ahead to select the voice settings. So I could say I would want a female. And then it says what type of voice. This is where you could select the different accents. I can go ahead to select a voice with a New Yorker accent and keep it as the narrator. Number two is the subtitle settings. When you click onto this, as you can see, there's many different subtitles you could choose from. Select the one you prefer. I'll say bold subtitles with popping effects. Number four, you could select the amount of eye stock you want. And then number five for the music, you could go ahead to select what you want. Would it be use the best audio available, use only from YouTube library or use only Storyblocks audio only. Select whichever one you prefer. As you can see, all you'd want to do is simply fill in the information on this template. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is hit continue. And then as you can see, all the information has been placed into the text box for you. So all that's left for you to do now is hit where it says generate a video. And then you'll go ahead to follow the same steps you did in the first and second time to get your video generated. So you can choose whether to create a simple prompt, which I don't recommend, use my prompt, which I recommend, or use any one of NVIDIA's templates to help you create your prompt to make your video. But hold on now, because when you have your video created, I know some of you might be thinking, but what if I want to edit my video? What if I need to edit my video? You can go about editing it in two different ways. The first way would be manually editing your video. In order to manually edit your video, what you'd want to do is click where it says edit. And then over here in the edit media section, you can go ahead to change different medias if you'd like. And you could simply do this by clicking on the media you'd want to change. And then as you can see, it shows you which line in your script that this media is showing for. And if you want to replace it, you could search for a different type of media for example paris and then you can look through all the different options that it gives you and then simply click replace and then as you can see it replaces the media you previously had and then you can go ahead to do this for as many clips or as little clips as you want and then once you've done that all you need to do is hit apply changes and then it will edit your media if you want to edit the script you'd go to where it says edit script and then now you can see your entire script you can go ahead to edit your script from here by simply clicking on the one you want to edit and deleting whatever you would like to edit or not now if you want to edit the music you'll come on over to where it says edit music and then you could change your music by simply scrolling through all the different options that it gives you listening to what they sound like and when you find the one that you like you simply hit replace and then it's going to go ahead to replace the one that you had there if you want something specific you could simply search in the search bar specifically for what you want for example travel and then it'll show you all the music that's related to it and then you could do the same thing hit replace once you've made all your edits done and sure to hit apply changes and all your edits will be made for you. That's how you can go about manually editing the video. Now, if you don't want to manually edit your video or you think that it's just too annoying to have to edit your videos this way, you can just have in video AI edit it for you by telling it what to do. So in this simple text to edit box feature here, all you would have to do is click into it and then you simply type in what you want it to change. So you know that the video is in English. Let's take a listen. I bet you didn't know Paris could be your playground even on a tight budget. But as I mentioned earlier, you can change the video to any language you would like. All you would do is ask it this, change language to, and then put the language you'd want to change it to. So for example, Spanish, and then hit generate. Now it's done, let's take a listen. Apuesto a que no sabías que París puede ser tu patio de recreo, incluso con un presupuesto ajustado. Let's try French. Je parie que tu ne savais pas que Paris peut être ton terrain de jeu, même avec un budget serré. Let's try Hindi. मैं शर्त लगा सकता हूं कि आपको नहीं पता था कि आप कम बजट में भी पेरिस में खूब मजे कर सकते हैं And lastly, let's try something like Dutch. Ik durf te wedden dat je niet wist dat je ook met een klein budget enorm kunt genieten in Parijs. They all sound pretty impressive to me. Now, I don't speak any of this language as well, a little bit of French. As for the others, you guys let me know if it sounds pretty accurate, though just from listening to it, it sounds pretty accurate to me. And that's just only 1% of the languages. There's many more you could choose from. Now, let me just say that this text edit feature is a truly a game changer. And I feel like not many people take advantage or understand how easy this feature makes your workflow and how great it really is. So 
maybe I should create a deep dive of how exactly you could use this one tool. So for those of you who don't want to manually edit anymore, you'll finally understand how exactly you can go about utilizing this tool. So after watching this video, I don't want to hear anybody else saying they're not sure how to use this tool or they can't seem to get high quality videos because I showed you exactly how you can do so with more experience, with my prompts, or even as a complete beginner using a template. So go ahead and give it a try. But hold on now, don't click off this video yet because if you want to learn more from me, which you probably should, then you need to check out this other video on my channel.